Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Erica. If you're new here, welcome. Well, you know what time it is. It's time for another Dollar General all digital scenario for Saturday, October 3rd. We're going to be using that 5 off 25 digital coupon. We got some food, we got some diapers, and we got all the other good stuff. So if you want to see what we got, just keep watching. Do you all realize that Christmas is right around the corner? It's crazy. This year, as crazy as this year has been, it's actually kind of flying by. Thank goodness. But it's time to start thinking about Christmas shopping. I don't know about you, but I tend to do a lot of my Christmas shopping online. I shop online because I don't have time to run store to store, getting one thing at each store because everybody wants something different. So I have a way for you to save money while doing that online shopping for Christmas this year. Top Cashback has offered to sponsor this video. Thank you, Top Cash Back. Not only are they helping me out by sponsoring this video, but they're also going to help you out. When you sign up for Top Cash Back using the link in my description box, they are going to give you $10 back when you spend $25 or more on your first order. They offer cash back for over 4,400 stores. Like for me, I do a ton of shopping on Amazon for Christmas. They offer cash back on Amazon. Also, Best Buy, Sephora, Costco, Dollar General, and of course, CVS.com. And here's a little heads up. Did you know on CVS.com, you can use digital coupons. And all you have to do is go to topcashback.com, sign up. It's completely free, won't cost you a dime. You can either search for the store you want to shop at through there, or you can download their extension that they have for like Google Chrome. Then when you go to those websites, it'll automatically activate their cashback offer for that website. So even easier. So I'm going to show you how simple it is. I have to get something for my daughter. She has a wish list for her baby shower stuff. They have Carters. They're giving back 8% cash back on new customers. I'm a new customer. So I'm going to click this is the offer I want. Then I'm going to hit get cash back now. It's going to tell me just shop as normal and they'll take care of the rest. So it's going to open up the website. It's going to look just like it would if you went to the website yourself. You're going to shop. That's what I did. I got two items. My total before tax is $26. So I'm going to get back $2.80 for that. And then I'm going to get the $10 back for spending over $25. $5. Then you just check out as normal and it's just that easy. Nothing else to do. Just make sure you use the link in the description box below so you get your $10 on your first $25 purchase. Okay, now let's get into some Dollar General deals. Before we get started, let's go over a few things you need to remember when shopping at Dollar General. The very first and most important rule is you want to scan every item in the store with your app. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second, but the reason you are doing that is because you want to check that the prices come up correctly. There are times when an item could be on sale or it could also be a price break and the Dollar General employees just don't have time to change the tag. So you want to scan the item to make sure the price is what you have wrote down on your scenario because if that price is off just a little bit and it throws you under $25, the 5 off 25 will not come off at the register. Another reason you're scanning those items is to make sure the digital coupons are attaching. At Dollar General, the digital coupons are very finicky. Sometimes it will attach to an item of one cent, but it will not attach to the same item of a different cent. So you need to scan to make sure those items are definitely attaching. If you're doing a gain scenario, you want to make sure the coupon you're using plus the gain coupon are both attaching to each item in that scenario. If there is one single item in that gain scenario that's not attaching to that gain coupon and it throws you below that $30 gain total, then that gain coupon is not coming off at the register. I'm also going to show you in just a second what I mean with that gain coupon attaching. Another thing to keep in mind is those instant savings. As an example, if you're doing a 5 off 25 deal and you have a spend 15 on Scott products save $3 instantly, then you're going to have to make sure your new total is $28 before coupons because that $3 will come off and you still have to be at that $25 threshold after that instant savings comes off. And lastly, get what you need, not what is cheap. I personally do not like travel and trial size items. So before I wouldn't even put them in my scenarios, but people really like the very low out-of-pocket scenarios with all the travel and trial size things. So now I try to include at least one very low out-of-pocket scenario for you. And now let's do a quick rundown of how to use the app. First thing you're going to do is open up the app. Once you open it up, you're going to click right here in the middle at the bottom onto list. Once the screen opens up, you're going to check the top. You're going to make sure this location is the store that you're at. If not, you're going to hit change store and put it on the correct location. Once you're set on the correct location, you're ready to scan some items. So you're going to click this little barcode here. Here, the screen will pop up and then you are ready to scan. I'm going to scan a few items out of my stockpile to show you what will happen. Here is some gain dish soap. When we scan it, we see there's a 50 cent coupon. We also see that the gain digital coupon is attaching. Now we're going to click add to list. 
If you look up here, it'll show it in our cart. Click the deals applied. It'll show you what coupon attached to it. Now we're ready to scan another item. So let's click the barcode again. And like before, once you click the barcode, the screen will pop up and you can begin scanning another item. We're gonna grab an Airwick Oil Twin Pack. Let's go ahead and scan it. As you can see at the bottom, there's nothing there. That means no coupons have attached to this item. If you know for a fact this item does have a coupon and it's showing there's no coupons, go ahead and scan a different scent because you may find a coupon for a different scent. Okay, now let's grab some You Buy Kotex and scan them and see if there's any coupons that attach to them. You find the barcode and scan it here. You will see that a $1 coupon attaches to this item. This little check mark over here has to be checked in order for the coupon to be clipped to your account. One more little thing I want to add is this total here at the bottom, the $4.27. Do not go by that total. That total is rarely correct. The best way to get your total is to do some old school math on a piece of paper with a pencil. Okay, the first scenario I have for you is a food deal because the holidays are coming up. You're going to start needing to stock up on some food for them holiday dinners. So first we're gonna pick up one of the value pack of the Nature Valley granola bars. They are $5. We're gonna use a 75 cent off one Nature Valley digital coupon. Then we're gonna buy two of the General Mills cereals. They're 10 to 12 and a half ounce. They're on sale two for five. We're gonna use a $1 off two Big G digital coupon. We're gonna pick up two bags of the Chex Mix. It's 8.75 ounces. They're on sale two for $2. Then we're gonna use a $2 off 10 General Mills digital coupon. We're gonna buy two of the Jell-O puddings. They're a dollar each. We're gonna buy two of the Jell-O gelatin mixes. They're also a dollar each. And we're gonna buy one of the Jell-O no-bake cheesecakes, also for a dollar. We're gonna use the $2 off six Jell-O or Kraft digital coupon. Then we're gonna buy three two liters of soda. It's Dr. Pepper, A&W root beer, uh, Canada Dry, and 7-Up. So you're gonna pick up three of those. We're gonna buy two of the Quaker Instant Oatmeal seven count boxes. They're $2 each. We're gonna use the $2 off two Quaker Oatmeal digital coupon. And we're gonna use that five off 25 digital coupon. The cashier is gonna ring up all of your items. Your total is gonna come to exactly $25 before coupons. You're gonna enter your telephone number at the keypad. $12.75 worth of digital coupons will come off making your new total before tax $12.25 for 15 items or just 82 cents per item. Now for a gain scenario, I love when we get these Febreze buy one get one free equivalent type coupons. So here we go. For the gain scenario, we're going to pick up one of the gain liquid detergent, 75 ounce for $6.95. We're going to use that two off one gain liquid detergent digital coupon. We're going to buy one gain fabric softener, 90 ounce for $6.95. We're going to use the two off one gain fabric softener digital coupon. We're going to buy two gain dish soaps, they're $2 each. We're going to use that $1 off two gain dish soap digital coupon. Then we're going to pick up two of the Febreze Gain Scented Oil Refills. They're $5 each. We're going to use that five off two Febreze Oil Refill Digital Coupon. And we're going to pick up two of the Small Spaces. Also, make sure it's Gain Scented. They're $3 each. We're going to use that three off two Small Space Digital Coupon. We're going to make sure that five off 30 Gain Purchase Coupon is clipped to our account. And also make sure that five off 25 is clipped to your account. The cashier is going to ring up all of your items. Your total is going to come to $33.90. You're going to enter your telephone number at the keypad. The magic's going to happen and $23 worth of digital coupons will come off, making your new total before taxes $10.90. Now we're going to do a toilet paper scenario. We're going to pick up one of the Scott paper towels. There's six rolls for $5.50. We're going to use the $1 off one Scott paper towel digital coupon. Then we're going to pick up two of the Scott Comfort Plus 12 rolls. They're $5 each. We're going to pick up three of the Pantene. They're 3.3 ounce shampoos. They're in the travel and trial section. They're $1.50 each. We're going to use that five off three Pantene digital coupon because it is attaching to those. Then we're going to pick up two of the Febreze oil refills for $5 each. We're going to use that five off two Febreze digital coupon. And of course, make sure that five off 25 is clipped to your account. The cashier is going to ring up all of your items. Your total is going to come to $30 before coupons. As soon as they hit total, $3 in instant savings will come off for the Scott toilet paper. You're going to enter your telephone number at the keypad. $16 worth of digital coupons will come off, making your new total before tax just $11. So our last deal is a low out of pocket deal plus a diaper deal. We are going to pick up two bags of the Love's diapers. They're $6.50 each. 
each. We're going to use that $3.50 off to Love's Digital Coupon. Then we're going to pick up three of those Pantene shampoos. They're 3.38 ounce, $1.50 each. We're going to use that five off three Pantene Digital Coupon. We're going to pick up one Crest Cavity and Tartar Protection Toothpaste for $2. We're going to use a $1 off one Crest Toothpaste Digital Coupon. We're going to pick up one Oral-B Indicator Toothbrush for $2. We're going to use that $1 off one Oral-B Toothbrush Digital Coupon. We're going to pick up two of the Glade Scent Cones or the Air Sprays. They are $1 each. We're going to use that $3.75 off two Glade Digital Coupon. Then we're going to buy three Powerade 20 ounce bottles. They're $0.95 cents each. We're going to use a $1 off three Coke or Fanta Digital Coupon. And we're going to make sure that 5 off 25 is clipped to our account. The cashier is going to ring up all of our items. Our total will come to $26.35 before coupons. You're going to enter your telephone number at the keypad. $20.25 worth of digital coupons will come off, making your new total before tax $6.10. That's less than one pack of diapers. Okay, those are the deals I have for you this week. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it when you do that. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the little bell, turn the notifications to all so you get a notification anytime I post a video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, leave them in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to click on that link in my description box below to get your free $10 on your first purchase of $25 or more from Top Cashback. You have to use the link in order to get the $10. And when you use my link, I get a little kickback from that. So you're really helping me out that way as well. I hope you all have an amazing weekend couponing. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I hope you all stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. And until next time, bye.